ChatGPT is an AI powered chatbot that has taken everyone on the internet by surprise. It is such an amazing tool that it can literally answer any question that you ask and many people are speculating that this AI tool is going to replace software engineers, it is going to replace people in a lot of industries. Now many people are wondering, is it really true? Is ChatGPT capable enough to replace software engineers or people in the other field? So I finally decided to give it a go and I had a lot of fun with ChatGPT while exploring. But apart from having all that fun, I also asked it the main question, will it ever replace software engineers? So it gave me a very good response you could say a very elaborate response i was very happy about so i created this blog and uh, i have written nothing inside this blog uh, all the things that are written here have been generated by chat gpt and this blog has been hosted on hash node so all in all chat gpt says that it won't be able to replace humans in the near future and uh, it would be more like a tool that is going to assist people in their jobs right so I think that uh, all the reasonings that it gave and uh, everything that it said is more or less true. I don't think it's in a position where it can actually replace human beings doing their jobs because we have more context of the problems. We know about the problems that we are trying to solve via startups and multiple products and things like that. So it won't be able to do that, but it certainly would be able to help people doing their jobs. For example, I'm a content creator. I wanted to write this blog. Now, rather than me, you know, writing the blog, what I did was I simply asked it a question. Will chat GPT ever be able to replace software engineers? So let's ask it the question. Right, so I, I asked it this question, will ChatGPT ever replace software engineers? And as you can see, it is generating an answer for me. So in order to create this blog, what I did was I asked it, you know, some questions that, uh, you know, I was confused about. It gave me this answer. So I elaborated my question a little bit and got multiple versions of the answers. And finally, what I did was I, you know, conjoined all those answers. I made it one and then you know, published it as a blog, right? So all the answers that I got from multiple questions that I asked from ChatGPT, I finally got an answer that, uh, you know, converted into a blog after, you know, patching all of the elements that I received, all the answers that I received out of it. Similarly, I guess all the content creators, including you, who is watching this video if you ever feel like you want to create content maybe some technical content because a lot of people are making money these days creating content so if you feel that you want to do that then this is the tool that is certainly going to help you with that it is also a good tool to you know ask some general guidance questions that you usually you know uh, ping people with that should i do this should i do that for example a lot of people ask me uh, you know what is the roadmap to become a data scientist so instead of you know asking humans you can directly ask this ai now uh, i can simply ask so what is a roadmap to become a data scientist right so it gives a as a general roadmap saying that uh, you build a strong foundation in maths and you know calculus and statistics python r things like that then you gain some experience in excel sql tableau pandas matplotlib pretty important libraries for data science then uh, pursue a nano degree or something you know not really important then uh, gain some practical experience data science certifications uh, keep learning and stay up to date and things like that so it gives you a very good advice and similarly i can ask it a question for blockchain as well what is the roadmap to become a blockchain developer right so i asked it this question and here you can see that it's giving me a pretty elaborate answer again uh, it is asking me to build some, you know, learn some data structures and algorithms, learn C++ or Java, you know, some technology, then, um, you know, uh, gain experience in Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric and things like that, build a portfolio, certifications, all that stuff. So you can also ask it for resources. Uh, some good resources for blockchain per se although those resources are going to be a bit more generic i would say some resources for blockchain right so here are some resources courses on online tutorials it's pretty 
you know uh, generic stuff that uh, you can look for some courses you can look for books you can obviously access website and blogs you can also search on youtube conferences and events that's a good way to do that you know, so whatever questions you have as a student or if you are a content creator if let's say you want to write a nice blog then this i think is a great tool which is not going to replace humans it's not going to replace software engineers it's not going to replace web developers but uh, it is a tool that is going to come in handy for a lot of stuff and i believe that it is certainly uh, going to replace Google or the Google might have to innovate like they did with the U, their new uh, AI chatbot. So I haven't given that a try yet, but I will soon. Uh, all in all, what I wanted to say was that uh, don't worry, it's not going to replace humans anytime soon, but uh, it is definitely something that you can leverage at your advantage you can ask it questions you can ask it guidance because it has a large it is developed by a very large data set and uh, it i mean i tried a lot of questions and it gives pretty good answers for all of them so you can ask for guidance from this bot you can you know ask for help in content creation you can learn from it right you let's say come across things like what is cap theorem right if i ask what is cap theorem right so i simply asked it question about cap theorem and it says it, it tells me what the cap theorem is this is a question that is pretty famous in uh, computer science interviews so uh, it tells that cap theorem stands for consistency availability and partition tolerance right so that's cap theorems for you and um, pretty common question in computer science but yeah I mean whatever questions if let's say you gave an interview the interviewer asked you something that you you know weren't sure about and you wanted to find an answer for that then chat gpt is for you right if you want to create some content and uh, you think that you're missing out some uh, you know key questions that uh, you know you don't have the answer to but you should include in the blog then you can obviously take some help from this ai bot one more thing if you would like to read the blog about will chat gpt ever replace software engineers then i would leave the link to this blog in the description below you can go check that out and see what are the exact reasons that stated why it would never be able to replace software engineers not never but not in the near future right you can give this blog a read by going in the description below uh, that's pretty much it for this video uh, make sure to give this a try ask your questions from it and uh, feel free to you know whatever answers you get feel free to tweet about them on Twitter I would really love to uh, you know hear what AI has to say on your questions and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one till then peace